All right, guys. So let's do the recap for today. That was a pretty awesome day trading wise. Uh, what happened today at the market that um, inflation numbers came in and uh, apparently it was uh, higher than uh, uh, expected. So I think month to month inflation was 0.3 was everybody was expecting 0.2 market gap down IWM uh, gap down the most 4% spy gap down 1% and Q's gap down 1% as well. Uh, more than one percent it did bounce back during the day so you know as you see here at 8 30 as soon as the number came in dropped and uh during the day it looks like uh market bounced back slowly so cues are really bouncing back and uh, spy is bouncing back iwm is having a little bit of trouble going back it's uh, small caps are uh, a little bit more garbage companies in there especially there's a lot of financials the small um, the regional banks in there so uh, this one is uh, way weaker than uh, SPY and Qs. So what happened here was we decided to take a trade in, uh, based on the open uh, price action. AMD was a trade that I saw really sold off at the open, but really quickly bounced back above the WeWAP. I took it long uh, uh, and added more. Eventually from 166 popped up all the way up to 173. So we got almost four or five percent on that move. So popped up. I sold some, added more for the break of high of the day, 168 toward these moving averages. Here, these moving averages are generally a really, really good resistance. Uh, but, uh, but if they break uh, these moving averages in a five minute or one minute, you can con expect that they continue going up. So as you see here, this was my entry and then I partialed out, added more and uh you know for the break of high of the day i added more brian and also traded that a couple of times and we did uh, you know eventually break out of this moving averages i added more at 169.30 and uh you know all the way up to green now i should have added actually more for the red to green uh, i didn't unfortunately but as you see here one all, all the way 173 which is a crazy move from 166 to 173 on amd and i still have a little bit of shares actually uh, 400 shares left here on amd so I had the close position of 17,000. I have still 2,000 shares here. And uh, VOO is my SPY position. I added some VCLT, which is a long-term bond uh, from uh, long-term corporate bonds from uh, Vanguard. So slowly building a 60-40 portfolio because the bonds uh, gap down today. And uh, on a smaller account, I have some TNA, which was really good yesterday. I wanted to sell this TNA. Uh, I was up like 30 grand and now it takes gap down at 10%. Um, so overall, oh yeah, we had uh, traded PLTR as well. So PLTR was also a really nice trade at the open. PLTR was gapping down significantly. Uh, it was up, uh, PLTR was gapping down significantly today. It was about, I think, 6 7%. As you see, after, as soon as the uh, uh inflation number cpi number came in but i had to open open the strong you know one minute open range break up very nice i hold the vvap and i went long at 2380 added more for the break of high after day 24 all the way up to 2430 and as you see here these moving averages are pretty nice uh, uh really really nice uh resistances uh, as you see here really bounce back from that and you know i gotta stop that at the break even so you know and also the trade management is very important so when you add twice it's, you know your stop loss is going to come at the break even so that was a really nice uh, four or five percent we got from pltr and uh yeah that's uh that's a pretty good uh, trade uh brian i know you traded amd with me a couple of times yeah and i know you traded tesla as well um a couple of times what else you traded uh, I traded shop at the open. I was uh, looking for a little bit of a, <clears throat> um, a rising devil trade. So it did pop up and uh, right at the open and I shorted it and uh, and then it dropped. And then it, then it really just it just held that um, pre-market low 7726. So I got out of the rest of it and uh, actually played it a little bit to the long side. but <clears throat> as it broke out, um, and I, I know Lenny, one of our one of our other moderators, actually got a really nice move on it. But I just found it a little too too jerky. But overall, it was um, you know I got a nice uh, drop on it at the open, covered most of it. <clears throat> so yeah. Well, it was a pretty good day. Uh, so U.S. dollar is getting much stronger. So when the CPI number is higher, it means that inflation is still hot. Therefore, the rates are not coming down the way that the market was expecting. That's why U.S. dollar is getting stronger. Yield is also rising. It means that the value of the bonds are coming down. 
the bonds are uh, you know rallying when uh, the interest rates are coming down when the interest rate is not coming down the value of the bonds are uh, coming down all right uh, so that's it guys thank you so much uh, for watching uh, so the vancouver meetup uh, is almost uh, sold out so we have you know i think about 10 ticket left so that's why the price is not uh, uh, in the, in the early bird anymore but i'm really excited to actually have everybody to my hometown uh, peak capital trading is amazing we have uh, a lot of uh, traders that are making good money as of yesterday the the highest person uh, he turned out um, 50,000 he's it's now 75,000 so and then we have another one that's 8,000 up there are a couple of people that actually ate nine thousand dollars in the last month made that so it's it's really amazing uh, it's going on so I hope that uh, those guys are coming to Vancouver we have a reception for big capital traders in Vancouver office and uh, yeah the event is gonna be at uh, paradox hotel which is a really really nice hotel uh, it used to be trump tower but it's not anymore uh, so well well that's awesome all right guys thank you so much and all the best and uh, you know i hope that i'll see you guys in vancouver and uh yeah the market volatility continues uh, amazingly uh, if you have any question guys just leave it in the comment Cheers.